Should we do new releases? Yeah. I, I mean, we they're there. Releases. Let's do it. What do um, we got? We, we've got some stuff I've I've actually been playing a little Me bit. Me too. Me three. Uh, great. Hat trick. Playing any of Hot Shot Racing? I played a little bit of that today. I also played that when it was in beta because it was part of the Xbox Insider's beta thing. Don't mm-hmm. brag. It is brag. I'm very important. Everybody knows that you're an industry insider, Wombat. I'm Don't pretty sure anyone our faces. Can do it. I'm pretty sure anyone can do it, actually. <laughs> That's very humble sure. of you to say, but... Pretty sure anyone can. We know you're elite. Mm-hmm. I played so that game. Racing. Yeah. I, I played the first Grand Prix, Grand Prix and won it. Yes. Yes, yep. me too. I it's, it's, I appreciate the retro style graphics and mm-hmm. outrun type feel and the developer's pedigree in making games like that. I didn't appreciate the lack of sense of speed in the game. Like I'm driving and I look at the thermo- the thermometer. <laughs> I look at the speedometer and it says I'm doing like 170 and the co- I'm like this is what it feels like when I drive 40. And I don't you think know. that's just because of the the graphical style of it? I guess, yeah. Yeah. It's I don't know that, that to me the sense of speed is kind of important and I don't and I appreciate the graphic graphical style, but maybe I would appreciate a better sense of speed more. I don't know. Because I don't know that I would go back to it. I know it's on Game Pass, which is great, but and I guess I would go back to it because it's pretty like innocuous. I, don't I, know. I Dashiell likes watching me play it, so I, I get to play that one. Yeah. Um, also, one that came out that I was playing with the kids is a game called Tamarin. Okay. This is, this is uh, a a lot of guys and, and gals, I don't know. I don't know the genders of these people who used to work at Rare, but uh, a lot of pedigree uh, in platformers and... Uh, rare style style game. So you play as a monkey. <laughs> okay. And wait, is this the? Oh, you, I okay. Go on. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, 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 at least told uh, Chippy and Wombat a little bit about this game. Uh, so you play as this monkey. Like I, I sit down with the kids. I'm like, hey, it's this cute monkey game. Um, let's let's try it out. Uh, and you're you're doing monkey stuff. Like there's some throwing your feces. Uh, well, masturbating. Sure. None of that. Uh, so you're uh, <laughs> like the game starts off. You're on an, an island. It looks like a typical 3D platformer type of island. Uh, some neighboring insects that are polluting, like they have big factories that are polluting are coming in and like they basically take your family away and put them all in cages because um, they're taking over your turf. And so you're going to go get your turf back. Basically, you're going to go on a platforming adventure here. Back. Um Everything's looking great. So you're you're jumping around. It's like here, here's how you jump. Here's how you move around. Your typical tutorial. Then uh, you get through like a, a little sizable portion of jumping around, doing platforming type stuff, collecting some, I don't know, some fruit, some coins. Your typical platforming stuff. Okay. And then you meet your first like, hey, this is my friend character. It's the little, just like always, it's the little mole. He's a hedgehog this time that pops up out of the ground. Right, that talks to you, like, gonna give you your your mission here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've played that game. Yeah, mm-hmm. you played this game. She's like, all right. I'm like, hey, he's gonna give us a power up. I wonder what he's gonna teach me how to do. How to double jump? Maybe we're gonna like figure out. Please how, tell me how it's to... poop. Please, please say poop. No, he oh. like just very bluntly says, "Hey, if you have ten coins, which you do at this point because you've done a mission or something, here's your Uzi." <laughs> as one uh, gets from it like they didn't make it like a banana blaster or it's just like... an easy maybe they got a licensing deal with the uh it's the just a straight israeli like... army <laughs> <laughs> they pay well i hear mm-hmm. i mean look you don't get a lot of offers when you have a monkey tamarin the monkey it's not a big name tamarin the monkey with a zuzi yeah so it's just a really really weird tone shift in that game all of a sudden uh, and it it plays like a ratchet and clank type of 3D shooter, but you're firing Uzis and like running out of ammo and getting Uzis, and then I get a machine gun as your second power up. Right. So wait till you start waterboarding the enemies. It's going to be really it's, weird. It's it's strange. It's 
I can't say I wasn't having fun playing it. It was just like, hey, this isn't what this game, like, who who thought this was what this game should be? And oh, it's man. It's not even like a, a conquer type thing where it's like, hey, it's edgy. It's like, here's this cute little monkey, and we gave him an Uzi. Right, that's their edginess. Right, there's nothing like attitude about it or anything. It's just America. That's right. just so as American as apple pie right there. Tamarin is the name of that game. Monkey with an Uzi. It's just they should like, have called it Monkey with an Uzi. It would have been a lot like clear sell. I thought that's this the uh, on the Alabama state flag. Isn't it a monkey with an Uzi? <laughs> no, that's an AR-15. Oh, my, my bad. I'm sure I get one of those in this game. Hey, I'm looking I'm forward sure to this this big release on Switch. Um, drums? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking been waiting for that. That does sound all right. It's a big, big release. Yeah, uh-huh. better I than got this. Oh, I thought that said Duty Derby, not Doodle Derby. That I'm in too. I, I got Derby. this uh, Fight Crab for Switch. I played it on PC. I it's... I have a game. We talked about that though, didn't we? Fight, Fight Crab. Crab? Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. I talked about it probably. Did you? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I've possible. been playing it on Switch now. It's yes. good. It is. It's funny. I know. That that is a funny game because. Uh, it has a little bit of like the surgeon simulator style of uh jank physics yeah jank. like the the controls are kind of like i don't know if i'm doing this exactly right type of thing it's a lot going on to get your crab yeah moving but and your crab fighting. has you can get things like revolvers and stuff for your crabs this is a very much uzis probably i don't know if uzis are in the game it's possible uh but it's a it's a fun game. I have not tried it with the Joy-Con controls yet. I think that might be fun. Funny to to watch you play. Right. I think that might be fun. Um But yeah, Fight Crab. Nice. What else? I've been playing Bounty Battle on the Xbox. You just made uh, that game up. I did not make that game up. Oh. That game actually I think was a uh crowdsourced game at one point. Um, because it was part of the fig, the fig dot com. But uh, they how's that fig? A... The fig hotel renovation working out? Yeah, yeah, pretty I good. I'm sure it's wonderful. But uh, they were kind enough to send me a, a code for this game, and I've been playing it. It's a 2D fighter, similar in style to a Super Smash Brothers, if you're familiar with Super Smash Brothers. But the hook. Uh, that makes this fun and unique is that it has characters from your favorite indie games. Characters like uh, the wrestler guy from Guacamelee or one of the knights from Darkest Dungeon or uh, 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 characters from games that I'm not that familiar with, like Jotun. Uh, it's got the cowboy from Awesome Knots. It's got uh, the Dead Cells guy. It's got uh, F- Captain Flinthook from Flinthook. Who is my has been my go to character? He's, what he's is happening good. in this game? It's so a, it's got it's a all Smash of these... Brothers game with indie game characters. Yeah, oh, it's a Smash okay. Brothers game with all these indie game characters, and I'm Bounty telling people battle. some yes, who some of the indie characters in the game are. It's got a Battle Chasers character. It's got uh, uh, what else is there in this game? It's got Owl Boy in this game. Owl Boy. Awesome. I know. You've been looking at this. the Steam World uh, dig guy, you know, the robot with the hat. Right. Yeah. Dead Cells guy, I think I mentioned already. So it's got a good, pretty decent roster of characters that you've that you're surprisingly familiar with. <laughs> but uh it's okay. The controls are <laughs> the controls are a little unresponsive at times, and I did experience probably more slowdown than I'd like. So it may need a it may need a patch, but I think there's some good bones there if you're looking for a Smash Brothers type fighter that isn't on the Switch. I am not, but thanks for offering. I'm just some people might be sure, sure. And it's it's a twenty dollar game. It's not a it's not, not a big a, investment. Yeah, it's not a big investment. All right. What else? Oh so, yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. That's that's a lot of new releases. I think. Okay. Yeah. Death and Taxes. That's a game. That sounds okay. like something you might like. Death and taxes? I don't know. Like it's boring? Could, and depressing? could be good. Sounds yes, like mainly show. because it's boring. <laughs> sounds like this episode. <laughs> uh, 